Well, good morning and howdy, everyone. Welcome. Thanks for joining me again as we continue to read through Scripture together. And we're reading through the book of Hosea. Uh, this morning, we are at Hosea chapter 10. And so far, we have seen the sinful people that uh, have sinned against the holy God. We've seen his charges against them. We've seen his promise and prophecy of judgment coming against them for their wickedness, for their adulterous actions and turning away from him and turning to other gods, even to other nations to try to uh, provide the salve for their wounds and heal them of their afflictions. Uh, but yet truly only the Lord can truly heal, uh, even as his people repent and turn from their sins, turn from their false gods, and come and follow him in true faith. And so we've also seen time and again in these chapters how uh, these very words and how Hosea really points us to Christ, right? Even as his people are the rebellious people, uh, we're stiff-necked, we are sinners, and we sin against him frequently, and yet God has pursued us in Christ. God has sent his son to die, to suffer and die, and to rise again, to pay for the sins of his people, to be victorious, uh, to be the victor, and indeed to bring forgiveness and salvation uh, to his people. Um, and as the, as the judgment of God was poured out on his own son on the cross, um, and as his mercy was most wonderfully and is most wonderfully displayed to us in the Lord Jesus Christ. And so now we come to chapter 10, where God is going to talk specifically about Israel's sin and captivity. Let's read these words together. Israel empties his vine. He brings forth fruit for himself. According to the multitude of his fruit, he has increased the altars. According to the bounty of his land, they have embellished his sacred pillars. Their heart is divided. Now they are held guilty. He will break down their altars. He will ruin their sacred pillars. For now they say, we have no king because we did not fear the Lord. And as for a king, what would he do for us? They have spoken words, swearing falsely and making a covenant. Thus judgment springs up like hemlock in the furrows of the field. The inhabitants of Samaria fear because of the calf of Beth Aven, for its people mourn for it, and its priests shriek for it, because its glory has departed from it. The idol also shall be carried to Assyria as a present for King Jerob. Ephraim shall receive shame and Israel shall be ashamed of his own counsel. As for Samaria, her king is cut off like a twig on the water. Also the high places of Aven, the sin of Israel, shall be destroyed. The thorn and thistle shall grow on their altars. They shall say to the mountains, Cover us, and to the hills, Fall on us. O Israel, you have sinned from the days of Gebeah. There they stood. The battle in Gebeah against the children of iniquity did not overtake them. When it is my desire, I will chasten them. Peoples shall be gathered against them when I bind them for their two transgressions. Ephraim is a trained heifer that loves to thresh grain, but I harnessed her fair neck. I will make Ephraim pull a plow. Judah shall plow. Jacob shall break his clods. Sow for yourselves righteousness. Reap in mercy. Break up your fallow ground. For it is time to seek the Lord till he comes and rains righteousness on you. You have plowed wickedness. You have reaped iniquity. You have eaten the fruit of lies because you trusted in your own way, in the multitude of your mighty men. Therefore, tumult shall arise among your people, and all your fortresses shall be plundered. 
as Shalman plundered Beth Arbel in the day of battle, a mother dashed in pieces upon her children. Thus it shall be done to you, O Bethel, because of your great wickedness. At dawn the king of Israel shall be cut off utterly. Amen. Thus far the reading of God's word from Hosea chapter 10. And again we see more of God's words and his details regarding Israel's sin and what he will do to them because of their sin. Well, may God bless the reading of his word to us today. I hope you'll join me again next time as we jump into Hosea chapter 11. Take care. We'll see you then.